Hello everybody, this is Beastnot, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Lazy Nude Pack, because Argus wanted a full-on tutorial, and I know they probably wouldn't be able to figure out how to do this on their own, so let me type in Lazy Nude Pack, like that, like this, and you get this, and you go to download his new pack, everything a new needs, and you click near one, max out that other window, and click download now. I'm gonna guide through the installing graphical tile sets, but I'm gonna pause this until this is finished. So, see you in a second. Okay. So now it's, it's, it, is in, it is installed. I'm gonna go here, extract all, just extract it wherever I have like, I have seven zip. So now yeah, you're gonna need that. I'd expect that you would already have it. Or when I let this do it. All right. So now that this is undone, oopsie. Yep. Okay, so now that it's done with that, this is the entire install folder. I'm not gonna move it there since I already have one in there. You're gonna double click Lazy New Pack, run, and you're gonna click Phoebus. You're gonna go to the graphics tab, you're gonna click Phoebus or Iron Hand. Iron Hand's also good, but I prefer Phoebus. I'm gonna click install graphics. Click OK. Uh, either way, you can click either one. Um, yeah. Then we're gonna go to advanced, change calculation FPS cap 999, change graphical FPS cap 999. Intro movie. Yep. Window to yep. Auto save yearly. All that crap. We could change this. This you can put more or less priority on it. Pause on load. I like that. So there we go. And I'm gonna turn aquas aquifers off because pretty much what they do, they just kind of take good sites usually. And I don't really like that. So, well, that is how you install the Lazy New Pack. How far am I? Either way, I'll just do another episode for. Actually, I'll just also do the how to create a world. Let's hit Play Dwarf Fortress. And do this. Hit Escape to skip that. And this is the intro movie. Dwarfs. Yeah, could have put on sound, but either way, you can see it for yourself. Now you got create new world, which you assign minimal parameters. Pretty much, you get to choose some stuff. This lets you make a complete world however you want it, but it takes a long time to make one specifically however you want. It. Like people make North America maps, Earth stuff like that. Object testing arena. This is a fun little thing you can put in water magma and you can put in creatures with their own skills and weapons and you can put like a legion of raccoons up against a dragon if you wanted to and you can go about DF just tells you all that stuff designed by Tarn Adams and Zach Adams I don't think it, eh, it says by Tarn Adams but Zach Adams also helped and quit and you can only quit by going to the main menu and hitting quit you can't exit out like you can force stop it through task manager, but it might delete your save, so I wouldn't. We're gonna go create a world. Do this with the arrow keys and enter. Welcome to the Alpha of Dwarf Fortress. Yada yada yada. Um, now we get to choose all this, and we're gonna go world size smaller. History short. 
Number of civilizations, medium, medium, medium. We'll just keep that a medium, medium, I mean. We're going to make this frequent, since this would be your first time. Actually, I'd suggest you go natural savagery low for your first world. You can make as many worlds as you want. I make a lot of them usually, but... Anyway, then, once you have your stuff, you hit Y. And this is what the world more or less looks like. This is a necromancer tower. This is a castle. This is a town. Little hamlets. There's a... er... Like, these are hamlets. This is a hamlet. These grid things, these are towns, which are pretty much cities. And you'll have seen those in my adventure mode. Uh, dark goblin fortress. Um, they don't have goblin places in this release. So it's just pretty much a dark fortress, I guess. I don't really know what those are. I don't really... I haven't ever explored one, I don't think. And this is, I think, a necromancer fortress. But anyway, I'm pretty sure these are filled with zombies. Actually, yes, I have been in the... One of those, and they're filled with zombies, and you can cut off a zombie hand, and it will continue to attack you, and it's really weird. And down here, you can see the name of the world, and, and then you hit enter, or A for abort if you don't want that world. But we're going to hit enter, because it's fine, now it's going to put all that stuff into a playable thing. Art images, historical figures, yeah, it just generated... A world with 125 years of history, with all of the people that lived and died, and the dragons, and all the art that people made, and all of that, in un probably about a minute. So, it just generated a world, and, and a hundred year history for it, just from scratch. Now you'd hit start playing. And then you can choose Dwarf Fortress, which is going to be next episode, in 7 minutes. Or you could choose Adventure, like I did for my Adventure Let's Play. Or Legends, which we'll, I'll quickly go over. Legends is where you can look over all the stuff that got generated. So, it's going to load up the thing. Historical figures, 390, 39... 3,951 that are still, or that are dead, I think. Yeah, that are dead, and you can, like, look at their stuff. You can only look at their stuff when they're dead. And, ooh, there was a god. Like, male whispering monster, female troll of shadow, dwarven god, Adil, Stitzad. Yeah, so, I guess the dwarves in this world are... Polytheistic. They got Adil, Kes, Statad, Amtan, Simon. Yep. And, like, you can mess with the Raws and you can create your own creatures with their own language. And if you really wanted to, I think you could probably make different civilization stuff. Or different sites. I don't, I don't think you can in this release, but I'm not sure. And it generates different ages and historical maps, like... Let's read. Kobolds? Kegstrager. Must be a kobold thing. The Empire of Virtues in the Northwest. And looks like they might have been fighting the kobolds here. The Mortal Torments? I have no idea what they are. Um, the puce beard. These guys are berries, so I, I, they might be elves, I guess. I don't know. Um, more expansion for the virtues over the kobolds, pretty much getting wrecked by the, by these guys. Elves, probably, might have been, yep, I think this is elves, because that's a forest retreat. So the elves here are fighting in... The Empire of Virtues fought the Hames of Curling, who are pretty much taking over the world. The Puce Beard and Puce Beard are fighting the Mortal Torments, and Virtues is fighting everybody up there in the north. 
kobolds are just kind of barely hanging on around the world. Virtues are fighting the aims of Carlin, who are pretty much wrecking. The age of Lukeman and Fernsteel. I don't know who that is. This time when the Mountain Titan, Lukeman and Fernsteel, the mighty scale, is the only great power in the world. The rampage of the vile freak, Ayano Faint Boned, the dead tombs and apes craft occurred. Yeah, see, it's crap like that. Like, it took like a minute, and it generated all this history. Founded washed suitors. The siege of sabers occurred. So, in the midwinter of eighty, the conflict of conflagrations. So, a war. Okay, so the humans and the elves were fighting, I guess. And you can't, like, go to elf places in this for some reason. And I don't even think you can talk to them in this because their sights aren't there. You can mod them in, though. And I have time, I can actually show you how to mod them in. This is purely if you want to. Kinda adds fun, I guess. Uh, I had them in downloads. Go to your lazy bag folder, Dwarf Fortress, Raw, Objects, um, I believe there were Entity Default, I think. Okay, what you do, you... Wait, let me, let me restart. Okay. You go in here. You hit Control F. Default. Site. Type. You hit X. Or, the Find Next. Or Enter. You know. Um, you, every time that it brought you to the thing, you would change it. If it didn't say City, you just change it to City. And tree city. Just change that to city. And font site city type city. Because that is the humans. And there you go. And then you hit save and boom. And you can also mess around with this, create creatures like you can make crazy stuff. People already do. Um, and that's how you start with Dwarf Fortress before you even get it set up. You gotta follow a 13 minute tutorial. But anyway, I'll see you next time, because I'm gonna get this saved, and I'm gonna upload it. Or actually, I might just play afterwards and then upload it. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you next time.